It's time to change the way you think about medical school, to think beyond the classroom and focus on experiential learning, the hands-on experience you receive as a part of your medical education. At the University of Texas School of Medicine at San Antonio, it's that hands-on clinical skills experience that is the difference to creating better prepared physicians for tomorrow. A foundation of our medical education programs is the development of, of clinical skills on the part of, of our students. I think one of the unique traits about our School of Medicine here in San Antonio is that we have patient care from day one. The medical education you receive at the School of Medicine offers a comprehensive didactic program but it's the many opportunities for students to immerse themselves in hands-on learning that makes the student experience so much richer here. At the University of Texas School of Medicine at San Antonio, experience is the difference. The difference at the School of Medicine begins with the very way the curriculum is designed to prepare students for real patient encounters. Rather than receiving information in pieces by subject from one basic science to the next, students learn about the different aspects of medicine in a way that a patient would actually present to his or her physician. We feel that the students of the future need to have a different set of, a different approach to how they learn medicine. And in order to do that, we have embarked on a major curriculum reform. I'm very proud to have had a very solid uh, academic background and a good curriculum that the School of Medicine has provided here in San Antonio. We can look back and honestly say that they prepared us well both on the clinical aspects of entering medicine and everything in the books as well. As a faculty member I'm really excited about the opportunity of our new curriculum and it is a disease-based approach to, uh, to learning anatomy, histology, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, etc. So it's a blending then of the very best aspects of problem-based learning um, with active learning processes whereby you learn about um, all of these different aspects of the basic science coupled to um, the, the, the disease-based aspects uh, of medicine. They do an excellent job of training us and they're also very responsive to uh, our feedback and how the students report encounters went and how the curriculum is devised. Whether you're looking for a future on the research side of medicine or if patient care is your top calling, the rich research opportunities at the School of Medicine will put you front and center in the labs where major medical breakthroughs are in the making every day. The research opportunities available to students really are unlimited. Many of our students that apply to our School of Medicine and who are ultimately accepted have been involved in research in undergraduate school. And it's important for us as a School of Medicine to be a part of the process of the creation of new knowledge. The reason we believe that having a research in a medical school is important is because having that exposure to researchers promote the best practices and the best technology uh, in the care of individuals. I think it's uh, very important to have a great clinical exposure and we definitely get that here, but it's also important to have a good research background and to understand um, what a clinical research involves, what a laboratory-based research involves, in doing that, it gives me a more scientific approach to my clinical scenarios that I experience. While all medical schools offer some degree of hands-on learning, few can compare to the richness and availability of opportunities to learn by doing at the School of Medicine campuses in Central and South Texas. Located in the heart of the South Texas Medical Center, the School of Medicine is surrounded by teaching hospitals where students perform rotations on a daily basis. This, coupled with an on-campus clinical skills center and the exclusive opportunity to complete rotations at the Regional Academic Health Center in the Rio Grande Valley, results in graduates with a wealth of patient care experiences that occur throughout their entire medical education. We've got great facilities here at the Health Science Center. We have a, a very new clinical skills center uh, right on campus uh, where we uh, it's, it's practically everything you'll find in a regular clinic room or in a hospital. You can even um, find multi-million dollar mannequins there where you can run a full code and simulate an entire code scenario where you're resuscitating a patient. They start doing clinical skills exposure uh, during your first year in which they put you through the whole rigmarole, um, starting with an entire um, history and physical exam which takes about an hour the first time you do it. Once you start seeing patients your second year, and you're uh, assigned to a, a faculty member who will walk you through the entire process. They're very supportive. Um, also very good at interaction. They will do frequent impromptu lectures um, and kind of give you a gradual exposure to being in a healthcare setting. 
I feel like I've done a lot of things probably other people haven't had the opportunity to do. And I feel pretty confident walking into a room, um, not really knowing what's behind the door of a patient room, and that I can, I can probably tackle it. Medical school will consume your time for the next four years and beyond. But that doesn't mean there isn't some time left over to enjoy the culture of the campus and the vibrant lifestyle of San Antonio. San Antonio is a great city to go to med school. Uh, for one thing, you get all the benefits of being in a big city, but then also there's a great medical center that has a really tight-knit community. You know, there's a lot of activity for friends and family, a lot of good nightlife for the younger medical students. Um, San Antonio offers great food, affordable housing, um, a great downtown area. Everybody loves the Riverwalk. Some great things that you can get to do that aren't too far away from San Antonio would be like going down to the beach, uh, the beaches down in South Padre. You know, going tubing on the Guadalupe is, on the Guadalupe River is kind of a, uh, a rite of passage and a fun thing to do, you know, at least once every summer. This seems to be a place where students feel a, a big community with each other, that they are a big part of each other's lives, that they share each other's experiences. I never found a, a single classmate that was um, standoffish or overly competitive. There is a lot of camaraderie. Uh, we tend to help each other out. I don't really have a feel like there's a lot of competition. Um, when it comes to school, everyone's kind of willing to lend a hand when they can, and that was the type of uh, environment that I was looking for. Students at the School of Medicine have the unique option to continue their medical education in the Rio Grande Valley their third and fourth years. Called the Regional Academic Health Center, this campus offers the opportunity to immerse yourself in the very real health challenges facing the community and get hands-on experience helping people who are truly in need. I decided to spend my third year of medical school down here at the RAC because the faculty-student uh, ratio is basically one-to-one. -one. There are some residents, but for the most part, students get to be the resident. There's way more attendings than students, and so any of you could actually have a different experience every single day. I can tell you that there, when I was on gynecology, for two weeks I did surgery, I scrubbed in and I either first or second assisted in 52 surgeries in two weeks. I worked with probably eight or nine different attendings during that time and I got to see how each one of them did a hysterectomy, how each one of them did a C-section, how each one of them delivered a baby, and it was a very personal experience. In my first month here at the RAC, I've gotten to give TB tests, I've gotten to give vaccinations, I've gotten to go into the OR and watch a C-section and then follow up the C-section by helping them intubate the child. And when I was in, in Harlington, I was involved with the community there because they need the help. So I would get involved with uh, the activities, their health fairs, and go talk to the elementary kids and just trying to promote medicine in the, in the community that, that it can be done. Well, I think one of the differences of a student coming out of the RAC versus another medical school would be that the student coming out of the RAC is going to be, feel very well prepared uh, to go on to residency training. I think they're going to be, feel very confident that during their training here as a medical student they're going to have many one-on-one -on -one encounters with their patients and a lot of hands-on experience. You get to work one-on-one -on -one with the attendings. Uh, you get to work on your Spanish. You're down there very close to uh, the Texas-Mexico border. Uh, if you like the beach, you're about 30, 40 minute drive from South Padre Island and not many schools can offer that in your third year of medical school. Uh, additionally, uh, you get to work with a, a special patient population. I felt like on every rotation I did, I was right in there experiencing it right along with the person who did it every single day, getting their guidance, learning about real patients from people who do this all day long and know exactly what they're looking for. And it was a remarkable experience. From the white coat ceremony at the start of medical school to graduation day, the School of Medicine gives you the knowledge, the opportunities, and the hands-on experience to prepare you and shape your future in medicine. Looking back, uh, if I were an applicant um, interviewing at various schools and, and trying to choose which one I wanted to go to, I definitely would choose San Antonio um, for a myriad of reasons, but the most important ones would be that the camaraderie of the students and faculty, um, the great city of San Antonio with multiple activities and things to do outside of the medical school curriculum, um, the great community and the ability to do community service um, here in San Antonio, and then the ability to do studies down at the rack. 
Experience is one of the ways we are making lives better. So change the way you think about med school and discover why experience is the difference at the University of Texas School of Medicine at San Antonio.